Hello there everybody, Mobius1 here bringing you another Star Wars Galaxies emulator video. Today we're going to be doing part two of the Hero of Tatooine. Uh, I figured in this one we'll tackle what I consider to be the easiest part of the Hero of Tatooine quest, which is the Mark of Intellect. Uh, the reason I consider it the easiest one, uh, there's a couple of reasons, but the primary reason is because all of the spawn locations uh, are more or less static. Now, there is a bit of randomness involved, and you can see here on the right I have um, a bunch of different waypoints already set that we're going to be checking out, because what we are looking for is a group of NPCs that spawn in pretty much any of the NPC cities on Tatooine. You have Mas Espa, Mas Entha, Mas Tyke, uh, Bestine, which I can never pronounce, Mas, I don't know how you say this, but whatever. Uh, Bestine, Anchorhead, Moss Eisley, and possibly Wayfar. We might have to go down there. I don't. I, I I've looked up a couple different uh, resources just to make sure I'm doing this right. And some people say it spawns in Wayfar. Other people says they haven't seen it in Wayfar. So we are here in Moss Entha first. We're gonna go ahead and see if they are here or not. I use the overhead map just so I can see if there's a group of NPCs over there, and it does not look like there are. So I think, no, there's nothing here. So we're out of luck here. All right, so off to the next city. Hopefully uh, I don't have to drive out to Mas Tyke. Um, I guess I should do that while I'm here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, risk it and hope that we don't have to go out there. Here's crossing my fingers. Uh, now, what's, what makes it slightly more difficult is the fact that all of the spawns for the Hero of Tatooine quest are on a timer. And they're all... the timers for each one are different. Now, I believe the timer for the Mark of Intellect is about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Which means if somebody else completes the quest or even attempts to complete the quest, I think even if they fail... Um, and it despawns the, the group of NPCs, it's going to be 20 to 30 minutes before that group respawns in a different location. And the location is always random. So we could be hunting, we could be chasing uh, ghosts, basically. If somebody literally just completed the quest, then the group of NPCs is not going to be at any location for at least another 20 minutes. Which sucks for us. But hey, you know... That's what you got to do. One other thing I do want to uh, mention is this one part. There are a couple parts of the Hero Tatooine quest. This is one in particular that can be done in a group. Now, because when we turn in the quest, um, we're going to be conversing with an NPC, basically, to turn it in. Um... If you are in a group with a friend or a couple of friends and you all converse at the same time and you all click your uh, the correct response at the same time, you can all complete the quest at the same time. Um, you want to, you know, have some way of timing it. And here we are in Mas Espa and it doesn't look like they're here either. Uh, you do want to have some way of timing your responses because I think if one person clicks too early and the other people weren't ready, then the group will despawn and the other people in the group won't be able to turn it in. But if you can time it, you know, I'm not sure what your window of all clicking at the same time is. Probably a couple seconds. Um, but if you can time it close enough, then uh, multiple people can complete it all without having to, f like, go and find the spawns again. Which is good. Uh, which means if you... You know, want to do this as like a guild event, it is possible. At least this part. There are, like I said, there are a couple other Hero of Tatooine quests, and when I do videos for those parts, I'll let you know which ones they are. Most of them, it's, it's all ones where you have to interact with NPCs, but, um, <clears throat> this is, this is probably the easiest one to demonstrate that. Alright, we're in Bestine. It's on the other side of the starport. I don't see anything over there, though. No. There 
is nothing here. Okay. So we have Anchorhead and Isley. Well, luckily you guys don't have to watch me shuttle from one city to the next. Okay, here in Anchorhead does not look like they're here either. Nope. Good thing we caught that shuttle. That was close. I have to wait five minutes to get out of or Anchorhead. Alright. Isley. Not here either. Well, that is a bummer. I'm going to try and catch this shuttle real quick. I want to go down to way far just to see if they're down there. It's it's really unfortunate that neither Wayfar or uh, Moss Tyke have shuttle ports, but what are you gonna do? Okay, I can see Wayfar up ahead. Now, since we don't know for sure if they spawn here or not, I don't have an, an exact waypoint to where they would be. So we're actually gonna have to drive around and look and see. We can kind of use the overhead map to try and see if there is like a group of NPCs kind of standing in a huddle. Which I do see! Over here, look at this! That might actually be them! That is exactly how they stand. Well, what do you know? This is them. Okay, well, here we are. Apparently, they do spawn in Wayfar. I'm going to put all of the uh, coordinates to all of the waypoints uh, here in the video description. So, um, you guys, if you want to do it, all you got to do is open up the, the video description below the video. You can copy all the coordinates down and, and make all the same waypoints that I have here. I've added the Wayfar waypoint so we know exactly where they spawn. But wouldn't you know, they do in fact spawn down in Wayfar. Okay, so now that we're done with all of these, now the fun begins. So let's talk to the bounty hunter and find out exactly what she wants. You there, do you know any of these smugglers here? No, can't say as I do. Smugglers, why would I know any smugglers? I don't have time to talk right now. No, can't say that as I do. I figured as much. Blast it all. Now, what do I do? Well, that one guy does look kind of familiar. What seems to be the problem? One of these smugglers is my Mark, I think. I'm not sure. I've been tracking him for some time and just now caught up with him here in this city. Then why don't you arrest him? Arrest him? Heh, <laughs> yeah, I would arrest him, but the problem is I don't know which one of these smugglers he is. Uh, you've got to be the worst bounty hunter ever. I thought you were tracking him for a long time. The guy I'm looking for stole some equipment. Nobody got a good look at him, but the crate that he stole had a transponder signal attached to it. Okay, then why not find the one with the transponder? You must think I'm stupid, don't you? A little while after I tracked the signal to this city, it went dead. He must have found it and turned it off. Alright, uh, have you questioned all the smugglers here? Question them, yep, I found all the suspected smugglers in the area and brought them here. Question them, push them around, rough them up, you name it. What did you find out? To be honest, I'm a little confused. I know the smuggler captain and I can... Or I know the smuggler captain and I can trust him, but everyone else just blames each other and I don't know what to do. Okay, maybe I can find out who your mark is. You really do think I'm stupid. I can handle this myself, but uh, if you want to give it a shot, see what you can find out. Alright, so we know the smuggler captain is trustworthy, so we'll talk to him first. And his her name is Himfan. Alright. All the names are randomized each time, so here we go. Curse the luck, I've got a package coming in today, but that bounty hunter won't let me leave. Alright, uh, what do you know about the stolen equipment? Geez, you're as bad as that bounty hunter. I don't know anything, alright? What do you know about the other smugglers? There's really not much I can tell you. I know most of these smugglers pretty well, though. 
Two of them are compulsive liars. The others are pretty trustworthy. So, okay. So, thank you for your time. So, two of these five people are liars. The other three are telling the truth. So, we have to use logic to figure out who the liars are, who's telling the truth, and ultimately who is the, uh, the mark for the bounty hunter. So, what I've got... I've got a handy-dandy handy notepad that we're going to be using to keep track of all this stuff. So, first smuggler's name is Ihu. So we'll type in Ihu. Ihu, what do you have to say to us? The Empire has been pretty busy with the rebellion lately. It makes a good, easy slip past extra goods. I would think that the uh, they sent the bounty hunter to investigate, but she doesn't seem very smart. Okay, what do you know about the stolen equipment? I don't know nothing about no stolen equipment. All right, what do you know about the other smugglers? I'm almost positive that either Odie or Sudoxiam is the culprit. I've heard of them getting caught in situations like this before. So he blames Odie and we'll just say Sodu or Sodux. Okay. The next one is Odie. So Odie... Both Aodexo and I have nothing to do with this. That's all I can say. That's all he says. Okay. Says... Alright, so it says... Odie and Aodexo are innocent. Okay. Next we have Aodexo. What do you know about the stolen equipment? Nothing. Can I go now? What about the other smugglers? Smugglers. That nap is a filthy liar. Everyone here knows it. it says, nap lies. Okay. Nap, which, what a name. I know for a fact that Sodu Sogduxiam is a liar, and I know that either Odie or Aihu is lying, but the other isn't. Ooh, that complicates things. So ducks, so ducks, lies, and oh man, either Odie or I who lies. Other tells truth. Man, that's that's gonna make it tough. Okay. And last is Sodux. I overheard Odie and Ihu talking earlier. They are both liars. Don't trust either of them. Odie and Ihu lie. Man. All right. So, what did the smaller said? Two of them. Three of them are pretty honest. The other two are downright dirty liars. All right, now, I don't have a solid method of figuring this out, so we're just going to kind of, like, look at this and try to figure it out together. Um, right. So, if two of these people are lying, only one of them is innocent. Or one of, yeah, one of them is guilty, rather. So, all right, so the first thing that stands out in my mind is the fact that Nap, what Nap says and what Sodux say cannot, they can't both be right. For example, Nap says either Odie or I who lies, the other tells the truth, but Sodux say that both Odie and I who lie. So this, this and this cannot both be true at the same time, right? Because if both, according to Sodux, both of these people lie. But according to Nap, one lies and one tells the truth. Unless it... You see what I'm saying? So they can't they can't both lie if one of them is also telling the truth. So one of these two people is lying. Eodexo says that Nap lies, 
Now, if Aodexo is telling the truth and Nap lies, that means Sodux is also telling the truth, which means these two would be our two liars, but they can't be our two liars because Nap is also a liar, and that would make three liars, and we know we only have two liars. So, Nap is telling the truth. And Sodux is a liar. And Nap says Sodux is a liar. Which means Nap is telling the truth. So we're going to put truth. We're going to put liar. And since Aodexu says Nap lies, and we know Nap is telling the truth, Aodexu is our other liar. Which means Odie is truth, and Ihu is truth. Which doesn't work, because Odie or Ihu is a liar. Man, this is tough. Tougher than I expected it. Okay, so let's assume then that Nap is actually a liar. Which means Aodexu is actually telling the truth. Which means Sodux does tell the truth. Which means these two lie. They can't both lie. Because then we have three liars. And let's, let me read what Sodex says again. How can he say they're both liars? This does not seem possible. Alright, so neither, no way that I look at this can it match up the opposite way. So, Adexo tells the truth that Nap lies. Nap lies about Sodex lying, which means Sodex tells the truth, and this is a lie. Now, unfortunately, this then leads to say that Odie and Ihu both lie, which means that we have three liars and two people telling the truth, which contradicts what the smuggler captain says, but that's the least problematic contradiction like the only other way it, it, it just it doesn't make any sense the other way around so there's a contradiction no matter which way i look at it this is the only the closest solution to a logical thing okay so Odie says that he and, and Aodexo are innocent, which if Odie is lying then either him or Aodexo is the one that did it now if I who lies, then he says Odie and Sodux did it, but if but if he lies, then Odie didn't do it, which means Aodexu did it. So I'm going to try and put my money on the fact that Aodexu did it. Let me talk to the bounty hunter. What's she say? Uh, I'm going to put out Aodexu. Really? Right, so, um, right, yeah, I guess we'll just come and do it on an alt then. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was Seduxium. Which still doesn't make sense completely. Um, like, if we look at the notepad, this is kind of what I deduced. So, assuming Aodexo's lying by saying that Nap lies, that means Nap tells the truth, which means Sodux lies, which means Sodux is our second liar. At this point, I just 
I was like, okay, fine. We know we only have two liars, so I just did true and true for Odie and I who, which kind of makes sense because if Sodok says Odie and I who lie and he's lying, then that means Odie and I who tell the truth, which this right here is what I don't, this is what threw me off. Because if Nap is telling the truth, Nap said either Odie or I who lies, the other tells the truth. But Odie and I who are both telling the truth, so this should be false. So I think this was like a mistake. Th this doesn't make sense. Um, but disregarding this, now if these two both tell the truth, then I who says that either Odie or Sodux is the one that the bounty hunter was marked, or was the bounty hunter marked, and if Odie tells the truth, Odie says that he and Odexu, or Odexu, were innocent. So if Odie's innocent, then Sodux is the only other person that it could have been, thus Sodux was the culprit. If it wasn't for this statement right here, I would have gotten it on Mobius. Unfortunately, I had to come and get it on an alt. Interestingly enough, however, I did not go to the school cave and talk to the hermit on this character. So, as you can see, I was able to get the badge on this character, even though I haven't gone to the and done like what I did in the first video. So, yeah, apparently, even if you don't go and talk to the hermit, you can still come and get at least the Mark of Intellect badge. I don't know about the other ones yet. But, uh, but yeah, so that's the mark of intellect. What did we get for that? We got a badge and we also got this, which is a house decoration, which every time you complete one of these quests, you're going to receive a little piece of a statue that when assembled looks like just really decorative sphere type object. Um, and you'll see that once we complete it. So that's it. Mark of Intellect, done. One down, three to go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. <laughs> Even though I screwed up. And uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, we're going to do this again. Oh, whoops. Oh, you don't have to go through the whole thing? Okay. Alright. Poor yo. We have Porio. Blames Veyval. And. <laughs> Khajiit. We just call it Kaj. Veyval. Says. Veyval and Wayne are innocent. Him fan. Him fan's back. Him fan. Oh, oh yeah, so two of them are liars. Him fan is the captain. Derp. So, Siug says Cash is a liar. Oh, and either. Alright, so it's like the same thing. So, Cash lies, and. Uh, either Ve, Val, or Porio lies. The other does not. So I think that bit of information is misleading. So Cash says Ve, Val, and Porio lie. And Wayne says Siug lies. Okay. So here's how we're going to do it. 
Since Wayne is the only person that only talks about one other person, we always could start with this one, and we're just going to assume that Wayne is telling the truth. Now, if Wayne is telling the truth, that means Siug lies. If Siug lies, that means Cash is telling the truth. And... That would mean... That Viao, they vow and Porio both lie, and then we have too many liars. So Wayne instead is our liar, which means if he says Siug lies and he's lying, that means Siug is telling the truth, which means Cash is our liar, which means. Vival and Porio are telling the truth, which means either Vival or Cash are our culprit, which means Vival is innocent, which means Cash is our culprit. Which I just want to point out, I'm pretty sure the culprit is always the one in the middle spot. Yeah, see, I got it. Because it, it's actually, like, if you look at it the way this is, the logic always turns out to be the same. So you're always going to have one person saying that somebody lies, and that person's always going to be the liar. One of the liars. And when you work it out, it always comes out that the two people that talk about who is either guilty or innocent are always the same, are always telling the truth. And if they're always telling the truth, you can always just use those two things to deduce who the culprit is, because one of these is always going to be contradicted by this person. So in this case, you could always just talk to the first two guys, see, all right, it's one of these two are guilty. Oh, it can't be Vavau because he's innocent, so it must be Cash. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that that person was always listed in the third slot. But um, look, do just do it yourself. Like follow along, kind of how I did it here, and you should be good to go. But now I've got it on both uh, Mobius and on my one alt. So yes, thank you guys for watching again. Mobius one here, and I'll see you next time.